Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, whatever time I'm catching you. It is good to be talking to you all again on Thursday, April 9th. It's going to be a great day. I think this is going to be a good lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. Jumping into Google Classroom. If you head over to Classwork, you'll see that I've got already the stuff for today. I'm going to go open up the Turnin document because that's where I can find the document that I need to fill out and the document that's kind of going to guide you throughout today's lesson. To start things off, we're going to look at what you came up with yesterday. So you're going to look at people's answers for yesterday's Arabian Geography Notes jigsaw. There were four locations, the coastal plains, the oases, the mountains, and the deserts. You have to decide if you had to choose one to live in, which one would you choose? And why did you make that choice? So if you're like, Mr. Lieberman, I'm really confused. All you're going to do is you're going to go to number three yesterday, and you can see that we have the Arabian geography notes. I didn't do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put in just a test answer right now. Right? Once you do it, right, you can see your classmates' answers. So feel free to jump in. You could read what other people wrote. So this one's one on the coastal plain. Here's on the mountain range. Uh, here's one on the desert. Um, and here's one on the oases. All right? So use read through these or read through the ones that you didn't do, right? And try to decide which one would you live in. Would you live in the coastal plains, the oases, the mountains, or the deserts? All right? Then write your answer here and why you made that choice. Then you're going to read what other people wrote and respond to what they said. All right? So respond to what they said. And remember, don't just say, I agree or I disagree or I wrote the same thing. If you're going to say, I wrote the same thing, you got to say why. I wrote the same thing because, right? So make sure you're giving some really good details here. That's really, really important. All righty? Um, if you don't respond to somebody, you're not going to get credit. If you don't fill out the boxes, you're not going to get credit. Go ahead and do that and come on back to the video. Go. Next up, we've got some announcements. Alrighty. So yesterday, the grading period ended. I worked pretty late yesterday to try to get in all those grades. Um, don't worry, though, if you didn't make up your work and you have a B or a C in the class. All right. Don't worry. You can still make up work. All righty because high school applications only look at your semester grades, all right? That's the grade that comes out in December and the grade that comes out in June, all righty? So we can still make up your work. So just contact me if you need any help making up any work. Also, keep in mind that uh, during these past couple weeks, I can't really grade you, but I can give you extra points for all this hard work you've been doing. So keep up the good work, all right? You're kind of getting in the hang of things because next week I can start grading. All right, every assignment, and I think the way, the way I'm going to do it is you're just going to get a grade um, at the end of the week, every week, um, and that'll be like a notebook check score, okay? Other stuff that's going on here, um, there are going to be some slight changes to the magazine project. I think you're going to like them. Uh, they're, they're pretty good changes. Um, we'll, we're going to talk about that more on Monday, all right? So don't worry too much about that, but it's still due. So make sure you're still working on this project, all right? Also, Miss E made a video on scholar cards. If you need any help getting a library access, right? Check out this video. If your Chromebook isn't working very well, uh, check out this video that she made on Chromebook performance issue fixes. And if you need to make an appointment with me for any writing help, please do so. Um, I have a lot of people making appointments right now because we're getting to the end of the project and people want me to read over their essays. I highly recommend you make an appointment. It's free, right? It doesn't take that long, all righty? Um, other things, due dates. I've been getting a lot of people asking me questions about due dates. They're like, everything's due tonight. I can't finish it. I was like, no, everything's not due tonight. So, uh, just to remind you, all right. And I kind of pushed it back one day compared to yesterday. Uh, and that's actually the correct day. But anyways, uh, the article should be finished and ready for peer review in the editing process on April 14th. That's this Tuesday, right? That means you have a solid like four or five days right? To still work on your project. So don't worry too much about it. All right. Even more, your image is due on the 16th and the total final project isn't due until the 17th, which is eight days from now. All righty. So you still have time to work on this project. All righty. Next up, let's talk about in-text citations. I looked at your answers and some people couldn't figure it out. So I'm just going to tell you the period always goes after the citation. Write your answer here, then go into Google Classroom and you can answer the question here in Google Classroom that says, 
in text citation, does it go before or after? Answer it. Hey, everybody, it goes after. All right, look at it. Here's the citation and notice the period is after. All right, so you can just answer that and then hit turn in. Super easy question. And then just answer the question here. Did you do it? Right, uh, right answer the question here. Cool. Do that and come back to the video. Next up, we've got some Islam review questions. All righty. Uh, the first question is, what's the difference between the word Muslim and Islam? What's the difference? Is there a difference? What is the difference? If you need to look it up, you can. All right. Oh, by the way, um, answer the following question, review questions by either remembering the answer, looking up the answer, or by looking at yesterday's jigsaw assignment. All righty. Cool. By the end of this, you should have learned about all four geographical features. So the next thing you're going to do is yesterday, you had to look up and write notes on one set. Then you had to find somebody else's, uh, somebody else's notes and write down what they wrote for a different geographical feature. Now I want you to find a different geographical feature from that set, right? This is going back to like the do now. We're talking about coastal plains, oases, mountains, and deserts, right? Look back and see, all right? Uh, what did they write? You're gonna name the geographical feature that you didn't research. You're gonna describe the environment and how people would adapt to the environment in your own words. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the last one. That'll wrap up yesterday's jigsaw so that by the end of this, you should have learned about the four geographical features. So again, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go back here to Google Classroom. You're gonna head down to uh, yesterday's jigsaw. You're going to jump into the jigsaw. You're gonna see your classmates answers, all right? You're gonna find like, if you didn't do Oasis yet, you're gonna read what they wrote about Oasis and you're gonna write in your own words what goes here, all righty? And that's also found here, all right? Uh, just so you know, the presentation, I've been making them match a lot, all righty? So that they're almost the same thing. One more thing I forgot to mention, sorry, I'm moving kind of fast here. I'm a little behind today. The Arabian Peninsula is right over there between Africa and Asia and Europe. It's like right in between, all right? Something to keep in mind here. This is the Arabian Peninsula, the satellite image, all right? This is the Arabian Peninsula looking at uh, kind of the different landscapes, all righty? This is the Mediterranean Sea right here, okay? So your next thing that you're going to do after you do these Islam review questions is you're going to look, oh wow, I wrote raid, my bad. <laughs> You're gonna look at this map, all righty? Uh, and the map is also right here, okay? And you're gonna answer the questions looking at the map. So the first question says, what kind of goods were traded in Arabia? All righty? So you could kind of look at the pictures and you can use the legend over here, the map key, to figure out what goods were traded in Arabia. Then, looking at the map, how does trading in the Arabian Peninsula compare to its surrounding areas. Do they trade more there? Do they trade less? Why is it good or a bad place to trade? So look at Arabia and compare it to other places, right? Compare it to Europe, compare it to Asia, compare it to Africa. Is there any advantages with trading in Arabia compared to trading in these other places or are there any disadvantages, all right? Third question is, it seems that all roads lead to a city in Arabia. Which city is that? All right. So if you look at the Arabia, you'll see that a lot of roads, pretty much all roads lead to one city. I'm not going to tell you which city it is, but I'm kind of pointing at it. All right. Which city is that? And then why is it that so many trade routes lead to the city described in number three? Right. So if you don't know the answer, look up that city in Google. All right, and you'll learn something about that city and you'll better understand why so many people head over to this city. Then you're gonna post your answers in Google Classroom. That's right over here. If we go back, we can see that it says Trading Arabia Answers. You're gonna post your answers in Google Classroom. All right, and check your answers with your classmates and thank any classmates that help you out. Once you do that, just say, yes, you posted your answers. The last thing for today is not gonna be notes. I decided today I was not gonna assign any notes. Instead, it's just questions, just questions today. The reading is found right here if you need it, 
right? We're just reading the nomad and the family life section. So just this section right here, you're gonna read this section and you're gonna answer these five questions, all righty? Once you're done with these five questions, you're gonna answer them in the Google Classroom spot right here, reading question answers, so you can help out your classmates, all right? That's how it works. Last but not least, um, if you need an audiobook for this, I created an audiobook this morning for the readings, all right? So feel free to use the audiobooks if you need. And uh, we're still working on our History Magazine project, all right? I've got the due dates again right here. I went over them earlier. Remember, if you need any help, feel free to make an appointment. I also put the document to help you with the intro paragraph and the conclusion paragraph here. It's the same one that's on Google Classroom, all right? Just to let you know, it's the same exact one. All right, and then uh, this is a really good time to find somebody to peer review your essay, somebody to read through your essay. There's instructions right here that can get you a lot of, uh, that can get you extra points for this time that we're working here. So, and it'll make sure your essay is good. So please, please, please uh, start peer editing your essays, all right? Uh, start rereading your essay, start reading what you wrote. Thank you so much for your hard work. Let me know how things are going and we will, uh, we will be talking soon. Take care, everybody. It's Friday Eve. You're doing a great job, all right? Take care and have a great day.